What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another City Skylines tutorial. Today we're going to be continuing our look at our emergency services and in the base game. Uh, so today we're going to be continuing that with our medical and healthcare. So this is kind of your ambulance service. So the game has added in many different types of healthcare over the DLCs, uh, so we're going to be f but we're going to be focusing on the main ones. So I have done a little video on like things like the sauna in the past, which I personally don't consider healthcare, but the game does. But hey ho! Um, so you can find all your healthcare things under this section saying healthcare, uh, and these also um, contain things such as your uh, graveyards and um, oh, I think it's called. Yeah, cemeteries and also your crematoriums, but we'll cover those in a future episode. So that's technically your death care. Um, but we're going to be looking at, our, at your base, basic healthcare, and for that, that contains um, three main buildings we're going to be looking at, and that's your medical clinic, your hospital, and also your medical helicopter depot. So, and like I said, uh, we will cover the, the sports stuff in future episodes. Um, just because I don't feel like this is the right place for them. So, what do these um, items do? So, similar to the previous uh, emergency services, your medical clinic is basically the small version of your hospital. And uh, they have different capacities. Um, so, very similar, your medical clinic, uh, which is the small one, uh, it says there it's got a patient capacity of 100 people. So that means 100 people who are sick are able to be treated within it at any time. Um, and it's also worth noting that it has an ambulance capacity of 8. So it has 8 ambulances within it and its reach is not very far. So the reach that it can actually, um, that it makes, that it's um, kind of coverage isn't very far. So you have to keep that in mind when you are, um, when you're building this. But it's not going to be very kind of affect a large area, uh, whereas your hospital will affect a much larger area because it's designed for more cities. It says there, uh, there that its patient capacity is 500, uh, so it is five, ti five times bigger than your uh, medical clinic because naturally it's a hospital, um, and its ambulance capacity is 30, so it is quite considerably more. Uh, has yeah, it has quite considerably more ambulances within it. Uh, and like I said, its reach is a lot further, so it's more suited to your large cities. So let's have a look at the costing. So the cost of the hospital is 65,000. Uh, well, that's a nice little big like down payment. Uh, but your upkeep is uh, 2,400, so it's very steep to keep a hospital open. Um, whereas the medical clinic, medical clinic, its down payment of 10,000 so makes it very affordable. Um, and with an upkeep of only 400 a week, so it's very, very affordable. Uh, so when would you use these ones? So similar to the previous emergency services, for your hospital, I would say use it in your centre city. Uh, it's very good, it's got a very large reach, and it's got the ambulances to be able to go to you know, your emergencies within the city, and, and is a lot more suited for large, dense, populated areas, whereas your medical clinic is a lot more kind of suburby and um, kind of rural areas so it's much more suited to if you have a small little hamlet off somewhere it's perfect for that so i've got an area in mind it's over here so let's have a look at these two so this is kind of a large area that i want to have covered um, so i'm going to place down a hospital because it is quite a large built up area so i'm going to place down a hospital here and you can see that unlike other service buildings the immediate area around it doesn't go automatically blue, it slowly does as people kind of feel the benefits of it. So if someone's sick, then it'll bring the building down and you can see there that right near the hospital there is someone who's sick and ambulances are being dispatched to that building as we speak. Um, and once they um, get better, then the building will slowly turn to a blue shade and that will slowly ripple across your city, meaning your city is more, uh, more healthy. Um, things that can affect your health is um, noise pollution, so if they're near noisy things, so like industrial industry or busy roads, so like these sort of roads are very noisy. Uh, highways over here, for example, this is a very noisy area, so this will affect health. Uh, and also, this area is very polluted because it, I've purposely put it right next to the industry. 
this area is very low wealth and is very very poor so you can see there that people are very very sick so therefore having a larger hospital and larger healthcare capacity in this region is almost crucial um, so that's worth noting there and for kind of like if we go back to healthcare so we can see that this area here because it is right close to these industry buildings is very sick and the same for these ones here because they're near these industry buildings are also very sick but overall your ambulances will be able to cope with that and eventually get those back together so the other one we were looking at is a small medical clinic now i do have the other medical clinic over here i do have some uk kind of um model ones i've got from the workshop so ignore those um but that's what this one is but it basically does the same thing as medical clinic uh, and these are much more suited to small regional areas so over here isn't got quite reached so you can see that this green doesn't quite reach across this whole city now it's not worth me um, destroying that one and building a large hospital because it's such a high steep price for one building I might as well just place down a secondary medical clinic over here to be able to join this one region up with uh, just two clinics uh, to be able to cope for this this region so yeah that's the hospitals and the medical clinics now let's have a look at the last building which is the medical helicopter depot now we can see there that uh, basically what it does is it sends out helicopters to, to pick up patients and take them to hospitals and clinics so it there you go so it also says on there helicopters can reach locations with no road access uh, and help avoid traffic jams at the end of shift helicopters return to the depot so what that means is this depot sends out helicopters to go pick up patients that are sick that might not be able to reach hospitals um, so across your city so maybe you've got an area which is quite far away and there's someone sick and they need to go to hospital they'll send out a helicopter for it to go pick them up and take them to the hospital um, very useful each depot contains three helicopters and because of the large footprint i would not recommend putting these in the center of the city because also the building itself is fairly useless it doesn't do anything other than dispatch the helicopters so where would you put these i'd put these somewhere close by the city so it has a good reach of uh, the city um, also worth noting there the little orange circle around the building means that it's very noisy so don't put it near residential people otherwise you'll make them sicker uh, i know that's kind of counterproductive but that's what that little orange circle means um, but it, you want to place this somewhere close by the city so that the helicopters don't have far to go but far enough away that it doesn't have any negative effects on the city so i'm going to place mine here in this industry area but it still has good connections to the rest of the city so i'm going to place it there and let's have a look see if they dispatch any helicopters once it gets going perfect so already two helicopters are waiting for dispatch and let's follow this one see where it's going ah oh, it's going to the amusement park ah oh, someone's sick in the souvenir shop so someone's called out the air ambulance to the amusement park. There we go. So this is also very useful for um, if you have the uh, like the parks and uh, the nature reserves and things like that, just for this purpose. Because despite the entrance being accessible via um, an ambulance the rest of the park isn't so if you've got a very kind of uh, meandering path this is perfect to go collect those and then what it's doing is it's transporting to a medical clinic so somewhere in the city let's see where it goes so already bypassing all the traffic no issues there at all and let's see where it drops off this patient facility there. Puts it outside and then takes the patient in. There you go. So then they're already off onto their next call at the Chestnut Residence which is this large building here. So yeah that's absolutely brilliant guys. So that's pretty much it for this this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed it and it's been really helpful for you, hit that like button. Also, big thumbs up to our medical staff, so whether they are doctors and nurses within our medical uh, facilities or whether you're a paramedic 
uh, or maybe you fly the air ambulance. You know, big thumbs up to you guys. You do an amazing work. Um, also, you guys, you know what to do. I've been Scully from the Blue Coconut Family. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.